Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and you know me from drawing comic book stuff like this dude right here. But you probably didn't know that I'm a huge Masters of the Universe fan. And a while ago I began to collect all the Masters of the Universe figures from the Origins series. And it's a ton of fun. And since Skeletor is my favorite character, I collect all of the Skeletors I can find anywhere. Even the tiny ones. But there's another character I really do love from the Masters of the Universe, which is called Hordak. This is the guy. Right next to the window where you can see my little daughter riding a pony. That's nice. I don't know what it says about me that it's always the bad guys I like the most, but that's the way it is. So today we will draw Hordak. But to do this properly, we need a decent piece of reference, which I got right here from Small Tiny Toy Store. Small Tiny Toy Store might be the best source for you to get your Masters of the Universe characters. Especially if you want to collect them. I mean, take a look at this. That's how you get it in a the mail. There's even a plastic case around the original packing. That's how you get the toys from this store. This way you can be sure your toys arrive the best way possible and always at a great price. Check them out, I will leave the link to the small tiny toy store down in the description. But now let's unwrap the beast. Oh my freaking God, check this out. What a beauty. Kids! Look at this! It's gold and reason. I like Hordak. You like Hordak? Yes. What do you say, Lawrence? Isn't that a cool character? <laughs> Let's fix him up real quick. Two hours later. Check this out, guys. How cool is that? Oh my freaking god, I love it. It even comes with this really also very detailed crossbow and a stand for it and there are loads of hands which you can use very very nicely for uh, for reference if you want to draw hands and you can use them in the figurine on the figurine of course amazing stuff so if you want to get one of these or some other really cool character check out small tiny toy store but now let's draw this dude First, we need to find a cool pose for this guy. It's so cool, there's even no problem for the suit to stand on my drawing table, which is not straight, you know? So now I will do some quick gesture sketches to warm up and to find a pose I would like to draw, finally. So here are some quick gesture drawings. None of those are too dynamic because these figurines have their limits of course. You can move them around quite a bit but they're not actually made for, for drawing practice. But they still work pretty cool for that. Especially when I would have to draw a comic book with one of these characters. That would be awesome because you can take a look from every angle. even. Like one of these you would have to use uh, in a comic book quite often, so still a very cool tool for drawing. But even if they would be more flexible, I would still go with this pose, the last one. Because straightforward poses like these are getting the most attention on Instagram. And that's what I'm doing at the moment mostly, so please make sure to check out my Instagram account. The link will also be down in the description, it's Dr. Rocker Art, like the YouTube channel. So see you there as well, and please leave a comment on the Hordak drawing we will do today. For which I will use my favorite paper, Strathmore 200 series and a 2B pencil. It's a mechanical pencil, 0 5mm, very, uh, very simple and yeah, that's the only thing I will use. So let's go for real. Ha! 
taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving Everything I've been chasing All here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs> Okay, so we have a sketch. First I wanted to go with a normal fist, but then I thought this is actually a pretty cool hand pose. So I went with this one, because the staff is very broad on this side, so this works. And what else? I still didn't draw in the eyes, I have to do that later. The, the whole staff was a lot of work. Uh, it's like a drawing in the drawing, I guess, but it's very important and I wanted to get it in because it looks awesome. And as you have been able to see, I use this transparent paper to do this trick when you want to draw something which is facing you directly. So I drew this side first, then I passed it through here, through the transparent paper, put it like this, uh, traced the lines again, and then I had both sides exactly done the same. It's just faster and easier than to try to draw everything exactly like here because it needs to be the same and it looks awesome i have to say i mean he's a really interesting guy because his face is here on the staff and also here i mean come on man that's a little bit much don't you think but it looks cool okay so now i will take this drawing erase everything down a little bit so all the lines will be very light and then I will use still just my 2B pencil to do the line weight. So everything will look very cool after that step. So let's go! And I'm done with the line work. You can see it's a little bit sketchy, but still there is line weight in there. The light source is coming from above, so you can see the lines are getting thinner towards the light source. I also drew in the eyes and some more details like these little fellers, all that stuff. Okay, so we are done with the next step. Oh yes, and what I also wanted to mention, as you can see, there's a lot of armor right there. And I didn't draw that, because I want to draw this in my style, I want to show the muscles and the ribs, and also he's a little bit more bulky, but my characters are way more bulky. Take a look at Red Hood here for example, he's not that bulky usually, but that's my style and that's how I like him. And what we will do now are strong blacks, so let's do some shadows. And this is pretty much all I will do for the strong blacks. As you can see it's not much, but usually you don't even have to do any strong blacks when you do a drawing like this, because you can just shade out of the blacks with a million lines. But anyway, I still wanted to do some strong blacks to get a really nice contrast. And now the most interesting part will start of the drawing, which is all the shading. And if you're interested in how I do the shadings, uh, check out the last video from last week. Uh, Lawrence! Yeah? 
What's going on? Are you playing with four? Yeah. Would you like to play Masters of the Universe now? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right with you in a second. Anyway, uh, check out last week's video because I did a tutorial on how to shade like Dr. Rocker. But now, let's shade for Hey! Let's go! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Okay guys, and there you can see Hordak, he's done there are a lot of details. I also put in some Dr. Rocket details right there. And other than that, there's a lot of costume. It was a lot of work already, but still I'm not quite done yet. Although Hordak looks cool as he is right there, I will sketch it up now. Similar to this beast man you can see right there, which I also like by the way, I hope you do as well. You can see I put in, I, well, I left some of the lines. Uh, where you can see how I constructed the whole thing and I already can see some of the lines I think you won't be able to see it on camera but they are still there and I will uh, I will trace them again to make, it, make him look a little bit more sketchy because this drawing of Hordak will be on my Instagram account as all my drawings are so please make sure to check that out as well as i said earlier the link is down in the description and it's the same name as my youtube channel dr rocker art and on instagram it seems like i got more attention when i do more sketchy drawings because a lot of people who are taking a look at my instagram drawings they like to draw along and they want to redraw stuff and so it's always like uh, it's always nice to see like all the all the lines uh, you needed to construct this thing. So let's do that real quick. Okay, but now we are really done. You can see I just added some lines from the sketching process which makes the drawing a bit more alive and like I said it's a bit better received on my Instagram account. So feel free to try this as well. If you do have an Instagram account and you want to get more likes and more attention try to, to keep in the sketchy lines. It helped me out so maybe it will be the same for you. So Hordak presents himself. Hordak. And as I told you earlier, make sure to check out the small tiny toy store. They really have a great collection on Masters of the Universe figurines. But not just that, they also have a lot of Star Wars stuff and all the other Marvel and DC comic heroes you would like to have in your room. Which means all that's left to say is thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for your tremendous support on Instagram. I really grow quite fast over there. Also, thank you again to Small Tiny Toy Store for these really cool figurines uh, we can buy from you. I really appreciate that. I really love my Masters collection. <laughs> but I showed you that earlier, so... Um, <laughs> what else? Yeah, 
Uh, don't forget to draw every day. A lot of you guys, or most of you guys, will be will be drawing yourself. So and also feel free to send me stuff on Instagram. I don't really get all of the messages because there are too many, but I get a lot of them, and I try to to critique them. Critique blah, blah, to critique them. Sorry. So feel free to send me stuff. Also have a great day. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to, to subscribe and leave on the post notifications so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And yeah, that's it for today. So, like I said, don't forget to draw a lot. Draw every day if possible. And now I want you to go and watch this video. That's where I'll show you something really cool. Make sure to check it out. Uh, you'll love it and you will learn a lot. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you again for watching. I love you. Bye.